Hi everybody, so here's our winning video. It's the Extreme um, Cat Eyeliner a la Angelina Jolie. And I used the picture that she has from the Oscars as inspiration. Um, her makeup was done for the Oscars by Sarah Burton. And if you go to my blog, candythemakeupartist.blogspot.com, I'm gonna list um, the actual makeup that um, Sarah Burton used to do her makeup. So if you guys want to duplicate it exactly, um, I'll list all the products she used there. So I don't have all those, so I'm going to match them as close as I can. And this is a really fast eye look. So um, all you need is a nude eyeshadow, and I'm going to use um, my favorite brulee eyeshadow, which I can't find. Hang on. Okay, and it's just a basic standard nude. It's matte. There's no sparkle. It's perfect to cover your entire eyelid. You can also use um, Toast from Bobbi Brown. It just depends on what color your skin is to match it as nude as you can. So um, I'll use a little bit of the Toast. It's a little more, um, it's a little darker, and I'm not really as uh, tan as I normally look, so it looks a little darker than normal on me. So I'm going to go back to Brulee because it's pretty light. It can be used on um, all kinds of fair skin. So that's pretty much all you have to do to prep the eye. Next you're going to take, um, she uses a black coal liner, not a liquid, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use Smolder from MAC. And you're just going to hold the eye out top to the side. And what this does is it helps create a straight line. Um, it's not going to, you know, ruin the elasticity of your skin. You're not going to do it all the time, but for a couple seconds it helps to get this going. So you're just going to hold this out to the side. And for the cat eye, you can start in the outer corner. Start out here and kind of fill in this line. So you're going to make a straight and then fill in all where your lashes come in. Now the neat shape about her eye is we're going to start, we'll go over here and do this thin. This is really thin in the front. Really thin. And then it kind of squares off right here and goes down. So we're just going to keep drawing this line straight. When your eye, when this eye line starts to go down, just keep drawing straight out. And you're going to keep going straight, straight, straight till almost the outer corner. And my pencil should be a little sharper than it is. That's a key thing to the cat liner. And then it's kind of going to make like a check mark down and up. So we're just going to go up and pull the eye up in that direction. It just keeps the skin taut so you don't get funny wrinkled jagged lines in there. And then we're just going to fill that in. And if you make any mistakes, don't worry because we're going to fix them. So we're going to go out like this. And you can take a Q-tip. And as you can see, I made a lot of mistakes, but we'll fix that. So next we're going to take our angled brush. And you're going to take a black. I'm going to take Carbon from MAC. You can use Nehru from black, uh, MAC too. It's another black. I just like carbon because it's really dark. So now we're going to go over and you're going to really press this in the lash line because that's usually where there's a gap and you see white in between the lashes and that just doesn't look very good. So then we're going to go up here and go over this angle and your angle brush is really like a fix it tool because it's going to fix any angle mistakes you have. So pull this eye out and then just set this guy down and really angle out that corner right there. And then you can go, she goes slightly under the eye, to the lash line. And you're just gonna keep blending these guys together. And then just fix it until this angle, because everybody's face and eye shape is different, so keep fixing it until it's the proper angle that you like that flatters your face. I'm gonna make mine go up a little more. And then I just take my finger, the edge of my finger, you can take a Q-tip with a little bit of eye makeup remover and just swab under there. It's easier if you do it with your finger than you don't have eye makeup remover, taking off your face makeup and all that stuff. So there's your basic, um, your basic eyeliner and you can also go with like a dark brown and fill in this line if you feel like the black is a little too harsh. And then to really get these top lashes so there's no gaps, lift up this side and then just do a watermark on your upper lash line of your eye. Okay, so once that part's done, curl your lashes and apply mascara. And she uses several coats of mascara. And if you go to my blog, I'll put the, I'm will put i going to list everything she used so you guys can duplicate it exactly. 
And then she used a pink blush. So I'm using just kind of a real cheapy pink bubblegum kind of blush like this. It's kind of, I don't even know what name it is. It's like just cheap from the drugstore. And just rub it on the cheeks for a really pinky glow. Her lips are always nude and she just used some Lancome Juicy Tubes in Spring Fling. I don't have that so um, all her colors are usually nude so anything nude, kind of whitish pink. Um, again I love Myth from MAC. There's also a color called Freckles that's pretty nude tone. Um, see through and underage are great nude lip glosses. So you can line them if you want to do them exactly like her lip shape. It's very overdrawn underneath. This part's very shallow, it's not very sharp curve, it's just kind of flat and then goes way out to the side. And then just fill it in with a gloss. Always hit the temples up here with a little bit of your blush too. And then for her eyebrows, I just used um, like a medium brown, any medium brown will do. And then again, she has a straight line on the top. The wrong angled brush. I have a separate angled brush that I use for eyebrows because I don't use a black. And then I use a, that way I don't get one eyebrow way darker than the others. You want to get this line. She has a pretty good angle up here in her eyebrows. And then these guys go straight up in the front. Fill those in. And I'll put eyelashes on this eye so you can just see how much more it emphasizes the cat eye. Okay, so here's those lashes on, and when I put my lashes on, I realized how not very good my hair looks, so I fixed that a little bit. And I found a super good lip gloss. This is Underage from MAC. It's got a really light pink nude color, so I just applied that. And I sharpened my liner, so you can just fill this angle out. It will just tap and do little dots until you connect all the lines. And you can do that all the way. So you perfect your line without worrying that you made something too... Um, crazy or harsh looking. So there's your Angelina Jolie um, emphasized cat eye with a nude mouth. So go to my vlog and you can find all the makeup that they used for her Oscars look. And also if you go to my vlog, I'm going to do a contest and uh, I think the first prize is going to be a pair of earrings like the rosebud ones that I wear. So I just have to figure out what the contest will be if I should have you guys do a video response or um, how I should pick a winner. So go there and I'm going to figure something out. So I hope you guys have a great um, weekend and try this new fun look if you like it. Bye everybody!